for tuning into this Cal TV special. I'm Kevin Cohen. On September 29th, the devastating earthquake shook the South Pacific, triggering a massive tsunami that engulfed the island nations of American Samoa and the Samoan Islands. Its effects could be felt thousands of miles away here at Cal as it hit home with the Polynesian players on the California Golden Bear football team. When I first heard about the tsunami hitting Samoa, um, just the thought of my family and the, um, their well-being, uh, just the fact that I couldn't get a hold of them, trying to call them and just, you know, just trying to see what's happening down there it's just like really affecting me couldn't really concentrate couldn't really uh think in class i was distracted the whole day i mean first thoughts that came to my head was like is my family okay is like like did we lose anybody or anything like that i mean it's rough especially when you're left out in the cold i mean nobody answering their phones or anything like that none of your calls are going through so i mean it's just a lot of panic but um i mean thankfully none of my family were lost in the tsunami you know, as as the news got more information, we found out that like various villages were all hit in Samoa, and um, we were just you know same thing like Aaron. We were trying to uh, phone home and just call and see if everyone's okay, and we couldn't get through for a while. I just uh, when I heard the news, I found out from my teammates and my brothers here. Just heard the news, uh, like all I could do was pray and hope that my family back home was all right. Yeah, it was the. Uh... It was definitely a surprise when you first heard it, and you just see it all over the news. They have like the pictures of all the flooding and stuff. And like I was fortunate enough to have been to Samoa, so like I was in that area, and like it was just crazy because like there was a marketplace, and then it was just all underwater, and then a lot of the areas. And like I talked to my dad. Fortunately, my family was able to move up and out. They moved to a higher village, so they were all right. But then just seeing like the death toll just keep increasing, it was just like just kind of painful. Uh, my aunts and uncles are fine, but except like they lost like cars, houses were totaled. I mean, completely gone. But I mean, like that's all material things. Uh, but majority of my family is all right, so I'm just thankful for that. We got a hold of our family, maybe a few a few days later, maybe about I want to say about five days, six days later, and uh, they're okay. But uh, we know that the village. Um, that they uh, were from was just total. So, I mean, it, it's good. It's good to know that they're okay. Uh, I actually got a hold of my dad, or I think he called me. But just hearing his voice, you know, just uh, talking to him, asking him about uh, the damages and how the family's doing. Um, he told me everything was okay. The players commented how much the entire team's support helped them overcome this adversity, and it's this togetherness that helped the entire team remain strong in the face of challenges faced on the football field. For Cal TV, I'm Kevin Cohen.